Hey, what's up everybody, this is Ray. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can set up sibling relationships between your model objects and Vapor. I have a simple Vapor app here that has two model objects. One stores users, including their name, email, and password. And the second stores the groups the user might belong in, such as gamers or bikers. I can use rested here to list the groups. Right now, there are none. So let's go ahead and add the two groups that I mentioned. One for gamers and one for bikers. The problem is right now, these two different model objects are not connected, but I would like to set things up so that each user could belong to multiple groups and that each group can contain multiple users. This is called a sibling relationship. To get this to work, you basically need a third database table that stores both the user ID and the group ID. And then you insert a row into this table for every combination that you have. As with parent-sibling relationships, there are three steps to get this working in Vapor. First, you need to add a new pivot table to the list of database preparations. Second, you need to add new entries into this table using Vapor's built-in generic pivot type. And finally, you need to use Vapor's helper methods to get the siblings from each table. Let's dive in. First, I'll open main.swift and import Fluent. Then I'll add a new line to the droplet preparations to create a new pivot table between the two sibling objects, TIL user and group. I can now build and run and take a look at the database with PSQL. Note that because I added the pivot table to the list of preparations, there is now a new group TIL user table that has been created automatically by Vapor. And this contains the IDs for each sibling table. Next, let's create a way to insert values into this table. I'll open tiluserController.swift and import fluent. Let's create a new route that will accept slash users slash x slash join slash y, where x is the ID of the user and y is the ID of the group. Then let's implement this route. The first parameter will be the user and the second will be the group. Here we use Vapor's generic pivot class, specifying TIL user and group for the type parameters and passing in both objects so that it can get the IDs. Then I simply call save and I'll just return the user. Let's try this out. I'll use rested to list my users. Note that I have myself and Mick there. I'll send a post for user one, that's me, to join group one, that's gamers. Then I'll send a post for user 2, that's Mick, and he'll also join the gamers group. Finally, I'll send a, another post for Mick to join the bikers group. I can use PSQL to verify that the pivot table now has three entries. Now that we know how to create the pivot table and insert values into it, let's see how we can actually use it. Basically, if we have a user, how do we get the user's groups and vice versa? I'll open tiluser.swift and import fluent. Now I'll create a helper method in the extension to easily get the groups for this user. To do this, I'll use the siblings generic with the type parameter set to group. I'll call siblings, which is a built-in method provided by Vapor. Basically what this does is it looks inside the pivot table between users and groups and it filters for just the entries for this particular user and then it returns all of the corresponding group entries. Let's try this out. Back in TIL user controller .swift, let's create a new route for slash users slash x slash groups, where x is the ID of the user that you want to return the groups for. And now we'll implement the handler. It will just call the helper method that we just created and return that JSON. I'll build and run and use a git to return the groups for me, which is just gamers. And then I'll get the groups for Mick, which is gamers and bikers. Nice. In the interest of completeness, let me show you the other way around. It's basically the same thing, so I'll just go real quick. In group.swift, I'll import fluent, and I'll write a helper method to return the users that belong to this group. This is the same idea as before using the siblings generic. Back in groupcontroller.swift, I'll create a new route for slash groups slash x slash users, where x is the ID of the group to show the users that belong to it. Then I'll implement the route, simply calling the helper method and returning the JSON. Now I can build and run to test the other way around, listing who's in the gamers group and who's in the bikers group. All right, that's everything I'd like to cover in this screencast. At this point, you should understand how to create sibling relations between model objects using Vapor. 
Now that we have a nice user model, it would be nice to integrate this into our Today I Learned web app and maybe even add some authentication. That'll be the subject of the next screencast. Speaking of siblings, I've always wondered what my parents did without the internet. And this is something my seven siblings could never tell me. All right, I'm out. <laughs>